Isotope's RX10 has a game-changing new feature. It can listen to dialogue audio and not only transcribe that speech to text, but it will also denote different speakers, which means you can select the dialogue from just one speaker at a time and use RX's other powerful restoration tools to correct and restore just their dialogue. You can also search for words, copy and paste words and phrases, and so much more, and I'm gonna show you how. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. I want you to think about all the podcasts you've listened to in the past and how many of them are with a remote guest calling over Zoom or Skype or something like that. It's so painfully obvious that's what's happening because of the difference in the quality between the two audio sources. And sometimes it's even distracting to listen to because the audio sounds so bad on one end. Let's check on an example of a quick chat I had with my friend Killian online. All right, so I'm recording and I'm here with my friend Killian. Killian, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. How was your weekend? Uh, it was busy. Um, I went home to Ireland for a few days and got back late last night. Hes oh, hence, should I say, my voice sounding a bit croaky this morning. Now, as soon as I loaded this dialogue audio clip into RX10 Advanced, it began transcribing the speech to text. If I want to see the word lanes, I can click on the button here in the lower left-hand side of the window. You will now see here at the top of the Spectrum Analyzer, we have some words. Some are green and some are yellow in this instance. These are the two different speakers. If we zoom in, we can see that these can go down to word by word. Now, if you notice that the transcription is incorrect in any places, you can literally just change it by double clicking the tab and typing in the correction. Now, if you notice too many mistakes or you wanna rescan for whatever reason, you can just right click here at the top and rescan the word lane. Now, speaking of the frequency spectrum, just looking here, you can see that Killian's audio is missing all sorts of frequencies or spectral information at the top end of the spectrum. This is a pretty normal occurrence for our remote podcast scenario, though I've exaggerated it here with a filter. Let's take a listen. We're with my friend Killian. Killian, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? We're going to use RX10's improved spectral recovery tool to literally synthesize that missing information to make Killian's voice sound fuller and more natural. But first, we need to select when he speaks and only when he's speaking. If you imagine this is an hour long podcast, that would take forever to go in and manually make those selections. But now we can just hit the button here for the text navigation window. Right here at the bottom, you can see how many speakers have been detected. RX10 can currently distinguish between up to eight different speakers. That's crazy. I can rename these to make things easier just by double clicking and typing in our names. Now, while I was doing that, you may have noticed that clicking either of these once selects all of that speaker's dialogue. This is what I'm talking about. You can also search for a word as well, which might help if you're looking for timestamps or highlights or clips or anything like that. Let's just click on Killian to select all of his dialogue for now and slide over to the Spectral Recovery Module. Now this has also been updated in RX10 and has been completely reworked. It's incredibly powerful and much smarter now. First, I will click the Learn button so it can listen to my audio and tell me where I might wanna synthesize frequencies. I will take its recommendations and hit Render. Now we have a before and after. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? 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 What a difference. However, now it's a bit harsh in the high end. So what I'm going to do is actually backtrack to the initial state and reduce the gain of the high end by negative eight. Then click render again. And now we have this. For a few days and got back late last night. Head to Ireland for a few days and got back late last night has oh, hence should i say my voice sounding ireland for a few days and got back late last night has oh, hence should i say my voice sounding there we go it's already much better but we can go a bit further the sibilant bits are still a bit harsh for me so i'm going to actually pull up rx10's de-esser module and choose the darkened vocal sibilance preset and reduce the threshold by quite a bit hit render and do a quick before and after and got back late last night has oh, hence should i say my voice sounding days and got back late last night has oh, hence should i say my voice for a few days and got back late last night has oh, hence should i say my voice sounding a bit croaky this morning now it's even better in fact it's a huge difference we went from something that was distracting to something that's easy to listen to in literally minutes 
And of course, this is only scratching the surface of what's possible with the new RX10. There are a bunch more new and improved features in RX10, like the completely reworked and upgraded repair assistant, now with access to the processing chain and a new and better looking interface, for example. And hopefully I will get a chance to do some more videos in the future on that and everything else. But either way, I wanted to let you know that I will be doing a full on RX10 live stream with an Isotope team member on this YouTube channel real soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Or if you're a future person, check back on our live stream archives to watch it whenever you want and get all the details regarding this massive update for one of my personal favorite VST plugins and standalone applications. I use this more than anything else. And as always, links are in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.